Hello, Sisfo here again, and welcome again to my Ultimate Command series. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to load the snapshot versions, so that way if you want to actually download the world map and actually have it work properly so that you have all the blocks and all the various new commands, you can do that. Uh, if you just want to watch the videos and stick to the older versions, I will mention, as I've mentioned before, Future videos will show when the various bits came in, so if you have an older version, you'll know which uh, various commands or modifiers you can't actually use. But if you do want to play with them all, you need the snapshots. Now, before I show you how to actually make um, the profiles for the snapshots, I have two very, very important things I have to point out. One, always, always back up your world. Any world that you plan to open in a snapshot make a backup copy. The reason for that is that on rare occasions, it doesn't happen that often, but it did happen quite recently again, a snapshot will totally corrupt your world. Totally inaccurate. And if you're incredibly lucky, you might retrieve from it, but chances are you won't. So always back it up. And point number two, exactly the same as the first one. I can't reiterate it enough. Always back up your worlds that you open in snapshots. If you screw it up, it's nobody's fault but yours. As long as you're doing that though, I will show you now how to do it. So of course this is the Minecraft launcher, currently on 1.5, and the profile I have down here just happens to be set to version 174. That's just because that's the version I happen to be running the Village Challenge uh, server on. What we want to do is have a new profile, and name it whatever you want, in this case, I'm calling it snapshot test. You can ignore the stuff up here basically. What you want though is this bit right here under version selection and that is enable experimental development versions, i.e. snapshots. So we tick that, turn it on, and you'll get the warning, that's basically what I just told you. Are you sure you want to enable development builds? They are not guaranteed to be stable and may corrupt your world. Advice to run this in a separate directory or run regular backups. Of course, we wish to continue because we've all been smart enough to back up any world of planning open snapshots. Now, the used version, in your case, will probably be the latest version already. Um, if you've locked it to an older version, you will need to open it up and move up to the top and select Use Latest Version. So in the case of that one, if I save it and select it, so that's that one there. So that's the latest one at the moment, 14W30C. Uh, there will probably be a new one tomorrow. So when a new one comes along, it will automatically play the latest one. If for some reason you decide, actually, I want to lock it to a specific snapshot version, say the 30 snapshots had a massive bug in something you were testing, you can lock it back to another one. So I'll 14W29B, save the profile, and that will now stay on that version on that profile until you tell it otherwise, no matter how many new versions come out. So I'll just change that one back, use the latest version, save, and that's the profile. If you then want to go back and play your normal standard Minecraft, you then select your other profile, so that's just my normal one there, and there we are, back to playing 174 in this case. Or if I was looking at some of the older stuff when I was checking for version numbers, etc. And that one, 145. So it's useful to have a few different profiles as well. Um, also, a lot of people don't know about this tab up here, but this tab will show you what version the various profiles are for, and it will also enable you to do things like delete the profile and copy it, that sort of thing. But there you go, that's how you enable the snapshot versions, and hopefully you found out useful so you can watch along with the rest of the series. And as per usual, thanks for watching and bye bye. Conveniently though, they do have this lovely uh, gondola or cable car system, whatever you want to call it, but they call it gondolas around here. Uh, it's over the other side, better call it over. Oh, there we go, here it comes. I'll just wait a moment or two and that should arrive and then we can head on over and get some skiing done.